Yo, 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 welcome back to the vlog. Today is going to be episode two of finishing up the suspension on the wagon. In the last episode, we did the suspension in the back. So today, we are going to focus on doing the suspension in the front. And on top of that, we're gonna try and weld on the muffler. So with no further ado, let's make it happen. Man, what a mess. Okay, so I just got to Chris Sadowski's house. I am going to work on the front suspension, but before I do that, yesterday I didn't finish putting all of the rear trim pieces in, um, in the back hatch area, so I'm gonna reinstall the carpet because I had to pop it off of the sides to get the top of the, uh, the shock towers loose. Put that, put the carpet back, and then put the trim pieces back. Just clean up the back, just finish it up, and then we're gonna move to the front and jack up the car and then Get that moving. Alright guys, I am a little frustrated with myself. I was moving a little bit too quickly and I accidentally broke this trim piece off right here. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some, uh, probably just some plastic adhesive and then I'm just going to run a bead down the back of it and then put the metal clip back on it and then clip it back in. I think once I do that, it should probably be all good to go. Yeah, lesson learned. Just got to slow down sometimes, especially with these older cars, things break really easy. So. Yeah, let's do it. Cool, so we got one side out, so we're gonna do the other side. We're gonna take the top hats off of these and then throw it onto uh, the new stuff that we got and then install everything. So let's go for it. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm stealing the, uh, the top hat off of the old shock here so we can put it onto the new one. Now, uh, luckily these shocks are blown. When I take this off, it's not gonna shoot out and, and, and kill someone. <laughs> but definitely, you know, if the shocks aren't as blown, you'd wanna use a, uh, a compressor so that way you can take some of that load off of the shock so it doesn't just launch out when you're doing this. So yeah, it should pop a little bit, but won't be anything too crazy. So let's go ahead and get this off and then we'll start rebuilding the new ones. Attention. I'm scared. I'm scared, I'm scared. <laughs> Oh, shit! <laughs> the last clip, I told a fib, the back ones were blown, so I assume the front ones were too, but they're not, and that's why you use a, a spring compressor, because if you're like doing that and looking down, like, if that shoots you in the head, then obviously <laughs> You'll that's, die. that's death. It's the non-safe way. That was sick. We live and we learn. As long as we stay alive while we're learning. That's why I told you to move. That's why I told you to move. I wasn't you paying were standing attention right to what you were like, doing. You should move. <laughs> that's a good thing I did. Yeah. Probably would have lost a shin. Okay, so we avoid doing that again because that is dangerous and I don't want anyone to lose a leg or their head or something. We got a spring compressor on it. We just compressed the spring down. That's how you do it the right way. So it's not gonna shoot a hundred miles away and, and kill someone. So I got some Tokiko blues. That's what we're gonna be going with. I got them for a really good deal. So decided to hop on it and take advantage. I am going to put this new one together. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. It's very simple. It's literally just kind of just sourcing the old parts off of what we had before and then throwing them onto this with the new springs. I'm also using the uh, the Eibach spring kit, which is dropping the car. I think it's an inch and a quarter 
in the rear and an inch and a half in the front. Don't quote me on that, I might be wrong. But yeah, that's kind of the setup we got going and uh, let's get to it. And it's really just as simple as that. Also, if you're doing this on your own, always make sure that the logo um, Eibach in this case is upright when you're installing the spring. That's how you know you're putting it on the right way. Just gonna tighten down this top bolt here and then this one will be ready to go in. Okay, a little bit of time has gone by. Uh, we got all of the suspension on. We haven't dropped the car yet though because Chris and I were working on putting the muffler on so it's not as loud. When we got down there, we also found a couple holes in the exhaust. So we're just patching it up right now. And then uh, once we get that done, we're gonna start it up. Hopefully it's quieter and then uh, weld the hangers on as well so the, um, the muffler sits up there. It doesn't line up perfectly with the back bumper. I guess that's, you know, I guess it was kind of hard to do that since it's not, you know, from the factory. But we're gonna finish that up, drop the car, and then see how she sits. Okay, so we got the uh, muffler completely welded up. It's already much quieter. Thanks to Chris for helping me with that. Everything else is all tightened and buttoned up, so I'm gonna lower the car now and see how she sits. Okay, we got her on the ground, and she looks good, man. This is, that's nice. She's no longer monster trucking anymore. You know, we got a little bit of some tuck in there. The front's sitting good as well. I am, uh, I'm liking what I see so far. But I am going to wrap it up for today, guys. I had a lot of fun doing this. Also frustrating, but you know, I love cars and it's a passion. So in the frustration, it's, it's only love, man. So and thank you to this guy. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, then like the video and subscribe if you want to see more. So see you guys in the next one. Peace.